which will reflect on the life of St. Felix of Nola. St. Felix was a native of Nola in Italy. His father, Hermias, a Syrian, had served in the army and had settled down in a Roman colony in Campania. He had two sons, Felix and Hermias, to whom, at his death, he had left his patrimony. Hermias, the younger one, preferred to serve the profession of arms, while Felix resolved to serve Jesus Christ and distributed most of his possessions among the poor. Later, he was ordained a priest by Maximus, the bishop of Nola, who charmed with his virtue and prudence, made Felix his right-hand man and counted him as his destined successor. In the year 250, Bishop Maximus was forced to retire into the desert following the persecution begun by Emperor Decius and Felix, who ran the errands in the absence of Maximus, was seized by the persecutors and was scourged and cast into a dungeon. But one night, an angel appeared to him in prison and bade him go to the aid of Maximus, who was in great distress. His chains had miraculously fallen off and the door of the dungeon stood open. He was conducted by the angel to where Maximus lay in hunger and cold, speechless and unconscious. His state was such that Felix could do nothing for him and so he had recourse to prayer, his only aid at hand. While at prayer, he found before him a bunch of grapes. He squeezed some of the grapes into the holy bishop's mouth. The bishop regained his consciousness and according to his wish, Felix carried him on his shoulders to the church in the city. Till the death of Decius, Felix remained under cover, but when he reappeared, people had difficulty recognizing him. No sooner had he reappeared in public with all his zeal, than his persecutors began to hunt after him, thus compelling him to remain for six months between the ruins of two houses where not even sufficient water was available. Later, peace being restored, he re-emerged in public. He started to till his own land which was left to him after the confiscation of his property by his persecutors. When Maximus died, people persuaded Felix to the chair, but as he declined, Quintinus was elected successor. Felix incidentally died at a very old age, and Saint Paulinus of Nola erected a basilica in his honor. Many miracles are attributed to his intercession. Saint Felix is invoked in finding lost articles and also as the avenger of perjury.